A freshman forward from Mays Landing, New Jersey, number 24, Colin Veltri. win is Leggett had an opportunity. Here William was scoring for Indiana, not so much this year. Yeah, this year Indiana. And here's Shen Keel. Fifth year in a row, but ended up falling short in College Park. There's a good look in the box, but soared over the net. I believe that was the freshman Ricky Schisler who corralled the throw in, but it'll be a goal kick for Bryant Pratt. First shot of the day for St. John's. Ball gets through, no one there. Pratt. Play by Beltry to knock one away. Leggett is there, gets a foot on it before it goes put in whoever, whenever. That's how I would describe it. Pushing the back called on number 24, Colin Beltry. Indiana trying to find those holes. And that's St. John's defense. Here's Goombali. Good defense over the top, though. Colin Veltri takes a dive and he's down hurt. Looks like we're going to have an injury. Timeout, the whistle blown as Colin Veltri, the freshman, goes down after the hard foul from Ben Yeager. A yellow card actually awarded. I think that's Jordan Balon, the back left defender who came up and maybe wanted a yellow called on Ben Yeagley. It wasn't and caught one of his own. I think it might have stemmed from that earlier challenge. Ritty man who scored a goal against Portland hit the famous Ritty. Yeah, we actually interviewed him. Sessock around that Big Ten logo, crosses one in. Not enough on it. Adrian Roseth to Wesley Leggett. And a ricochet Veltri off of Sessom. Sub coming in for St. John's Justin Rainey, the talented freshman who player Dave Mazur mentioned to us as someone to be on the lookout for. I mean, what a strike and great lead up play from Indiana. And that is just the best you're going to see. Top quality right there. Straight out of the top shelf for Mahalik. He's played so well. Shen Keel. Forward, Veltri. Bad touch. Looking on Mare. Shen Keel. To Veltri, to Griffith. Griffith in the box, a good touch. Pushed by Muni. Balon into the box. Veltri wanted a call, didn't get it. Ryan Wittenbrink now going the other way to Ben Yeagley. Lawson Redman. Opportunities we talked about off the turnovers. Schisler in the box. Leggett ahead on it. Shen Keel. Indiana trying to find those holes. And that's St. John's defense. Here's Goombali. Good defense over the top, though. Colin Veltri. Takes a dive and he's down. Hurt. Looks like we're going to have an injury. 
timeout, the whistle blown as Colin Veltri, the freshman, goes down after the hard foul from Ben Yeager. A yellow card actually awarded. I think that's Jordan Balon, the back left defender who came up and maybe wanted a yellow call. Runs down in the box at halftime. And just a better performance overall from Indiana today is Leggett now an opportunity in the box. As I say that Nibagora, the deflection, no. Battered away from Whitney. Long break, they get the free kick, it goes wayward of goal, and then just like that, in a flash, they're right back in the attacking third. Here's Roseth, or actually it's Veltri, excuse me, knocked away from Mooney. Mooney frustrated with this defense. There'll be a corner for St. John's. St. John's will retain possession. Good move from Veltri, working his way inside. And a tough play on the ball. Redmond came forward and knocked it off Veltri's leg. It'll be a goal kick for IU. Indiana. Holding goal. Also, no extra added time because of, you know, we mentioned the clock stoppage when they did the VAR and stuff like that. Here's Leggett, though, on a run for St. John's. He's got Rainey, the freshman, in front of him. Off the deflection and tripped up. No whistle. I think there's definitely a favorable call, and I think Leggett definitely had a point there, but the referee didn't have the greatest of angle. was kind of near midfield like he is now. Just kind of said, get up, and if he's closer, maybe he makes a different call. It's definitely contact there, the result, John. but I think this week off definitely helped. Notre Dame would have been a tough team on Saturday, but you get to regroup, think some things over, figure out which formation you really want, and even with the goalkeeper change, you know, it's about 10 or 10 or so minutes into the second half. It's been a pretty steady from Indiana. Lights for a second, then kind of had a dive right at it and didn't get enough power to beat Harms. But it's another good ball from the midfield is they just kind of pick out one of their forwards. And Rainey's actually listed as a midfielder, but looked like a forward right there with that run. Here's Rainey again. St. John's has numbers. The cross in the box too far. Leggett was there. Forward off the head of Redmond. And in front of the dugout. A quick throw in. Veltri defended nicely by Ben Yeagley. Cleared by Indiana. Sarver's the only Hoosier up forward now. A dangerous play. Harms had to come forward to grab that one. We saw him do that earlier. That one ball floated around in there for a little bit. It's dangerous that he dropped it. I assume that he thought the St. John's player yes. was going to kind of go dive in. Colin that was, Veltri. And Veltri would be aggressive, but he kind of just dropped it and left it right there for him. But fortunately for Harms, Veltri was on the wrong side. And cleared from Indiana. Goalkeeper Hart starting to come out of the box. That one's into the box. Dave Mazer motioning to get going on the St. John's side. Sarver, aggressive. A St. Johnny wasn't. Shen Kiel. One minute, we one minute. Diaz. Baylon lofts one. A chance cleared by Mayer. Diaz again. Baylon lofts one again. Harms is there to punch it out. 35 seconds to go. And after that chance, that looked like that might wrap things up here. Another dangerous play from Harms, who's been very brave to kind of drop the ball like that, but is when you see a guy jumping in. It's Second half. And it was a really strong defensive performance. And in the week off, they clearly worked on some things since that Portland 3-3 draw. You feel like, simply put, it's a game Indiana needed. We know that in this 50th season, 
could be one of their hardest ones yet in non-conference and the three matches they've played so far. All very competitive, all very winnable, and finally the Hoosiers do get on top in this one and end up as the victor. And it was a game that I think for Indiana, for the, the program they needed, and I think they needed the rest of the country to know that when Indiana's at their 15. best, and I think that might do it for us here on BTN Plus. I'm William McDermott alongside Austin Platt, my good friend and partner, and Brianna Baylog down on the sideline for us. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a blessed day, and wherever you are, have a safe night.